Well, when I was in second grade, we would do Sadaka heroes every week, and so we learned about someone who was changing the world in one small way. And there were all sorts of people. They were kids, they were adults, they were old people, they were young people. Um, so that's just stuck with me ever since, this idea that any person can change the world, and then also that we have this responsibility to change the world. I loved Sadaka heroes. I had this book about them, and I would read it every night. And so I had this idea you know, why don't we do something? And I was talking to my friends and we came up with this idea, why don't we go visit the elderly? And I remember I talked to my parents about it. They said, okay, what you have to do is you have to call this number, this is the Hebrew Rehab, ask for the volunteer coordinator. So I practiced it over and over. Okay, hello, my name is Viva Ross, I'm a second grade student. May I speak to the volunteer coordinator? And I was very nervous, but I called and I said, sure, we'd love to have students come. And so me and my friends would go once a week or every two weeks our parents would drive us. And at recess, we get together and we decided to call what we were doing mitzvah makers. And we were so excited about it. We would spend recess making a logo for it, making a slogan. Um, and our parents were great because they would drive us every week. But it was a lot of work for them and we wanted to make it something more official that lasted. So in second grade, we wrote a grant. <laughs> it was the first grant we ever wrote. And we asked for money to keep this program going. And with that money, we were able to bring in Stephanie who uh, kind of took charge and we started making it much more organized, planning, meeting. And I was in mitzvah makers my entire time at Rashi, so I kept going in middle school. I had the chance to interview a resident at the Hebrew Rehab. And it's really cool for me to come back and see that it's still alive, you know, 17 years later. Rashi really taught me that anyone can make a difference, no matter how small, or that you can think big, that you can create something really lasting. Who thinks that something they do in second grade will last this long? And I'm just so glad that so many students have had the same opportunities and the same experiences I got to have at Rashi and that it's continuing and that it's grown into such an amazing partnership here too.